Charlie, what's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? Charlie's just looking outside today. And uh, actually, if you guys want an update on Charlie, uh, just for this video, uh, he actually had a urinary tract infection and a couple of ear infections. As you might be able to see, his ears are still kind of wet because, oh, sorry, buddy, because uh, uh, we have to put ear drops in him and we have to give him pills. He's having a fun time. And uh, today I'm going to talk about this motherboard over here. I actually looked closer onto this motherboard and I found something pretty interesting. So let's take a look at it. Do you guys see anything wrong with uh, with this area right here? Um, <laughs> those capacitors don't look so hot. Uh, and as, I mean, you, you can compare them to like the ones over here and stuff like that. Or even this one lonely capacitor right uh, right there, if I can get my camera to focus. That one is still fine. I don't know why I didn't notice this at my troubleshooting, but uh, to go ahead and take a look at all these capacitors next to the CPU, which I'm assuming is delivering the CPU its power from this 4 plug right there. Uh, yeah, so those capacitors were all blown. Uh, I'm sure that's why it... Uh, uh, you know, the uh, the computer turned off after it booted into the OS. Maybe whenever the CPU needed more power, I guess this one lonely cap wasn't enough to uh, deliver all the power to the CPU, I guess. But uh, pretty interesting. I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, honestly, I might make a video like destroying this motherboard. Maybe like tearing off these caps with like a screwdriver or something. Or maybe I can... Can I, can I tear one off now just for this video? I, I don't know if these things really come off that easily or not. Let's get this one over here. Uh, okay, there we go. Honestly, I guess I probably could have replaced the caps to fix this computer. Uh, I just honestly didn't see it at the time of diagnosing the computer. Um, but, um, yeah, I guess, we, so we probably could have, because I do have a soldering iron gun, so I was, I'm assuming they're soldered to the motherboard. So there's a, there's the bottom of them right there. But, uh, probably as one commenter um, noticed, I actually noticed this after someone commented on my video about the capacitors being blown, uh, which I apparently didn't even notice. But uh, yeah, it's probably just way easier to buy a new motherboard. New motherboard is like, you know, 40 bucks. Is it really worth, uh, you know, buying new capacitors and stuff? Maybe not, especially because this motherboard's like 10 years old. So finding capacitors that are compatible might be difficult. Um, yeah, so, and by the way, this capacitor right next to the RAM, what kind of, what is, it? that's such a weird design having a capacitor right next to the RAM, I always thought. Um, the, the, this motherboard just in general is weird. So it's from a Dell pre-built, uh, and it's actually an Asus motherboard. I just think that's really interesting. Still has IDE connectors, although it does have SATA as well, which is nice, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's just an interesting motherboard. That's fire Firewire right there, I think. Um, yeah, so... Still has a PCI Express X16 slot, so that's cool though. That's actually nice. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys this. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool. And uh, once again, there's Charlie. He's being a cute cat still. He's uh, he's feeling a lot better, which is really, really nice. Getting that urinary tract infection taken care of and uh, those ear infections too. Like his skin around his, uh, his skin that you could see where he doesn't have hair, it was like all pink. But as you can see now, it's, well, he wants to look at the camera, but it's, it's a lot more white now, which is awesome. You're being a good cat, Charlie. Yeah. All right. So uh, I just thought that was cool. If you guys want me to like get a hammer out and destroy this motherboard, let me know in the comment section below and I will do that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. I might have a personal update soon because I might be getting a job soon, by the way. So watch out for that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you later. Peace out.